my name is Erica. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button, like button, and leave a comment down below. But today, I'm bringing you a small haul, small review of a planner that I had my eye on and oh my god can I just say how thankful I am this came from sincerely angel she has an Etsy shop I'll link her down below and she was so gracious enough to send me this planner for review and I'm so excited so foremost I just wanted to show you guys how it came packaged so it came in this cardboard box right here with all the information everything's blocked out so you guys don't see and Literally, this came when it was pouring down rain in LA and it did not get damaged, you guys. Like, not whatsoever. So, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this puppy open. And she's very, ooh, messed up my contact paper there. And like, she is very taped up, which is great, which means she is secure and ready to go. You know, no issues there. Yeah, and I can already see a peek of her. If I haven't mentioned, this is. A planner a monthly planner a weekly planner I believe she comes just like that she comes in cellophane wrap let me move the box and she's very small you guys like this this is like a like a to-go kind of planner which makes me very excited I'll show you a comparison of my Erin Condren and that so this is an Erin Condren the regular 8 by 11 maybe or I don't know the smallest the small version of it not the big old mama bear the small one and this is um, the creating balance in 2019 planner by sincerely angel so let me remove the wrapping cuz it can get annoying it's right there so as you can see it's a nice like baby blue um, color with cute little flowers and it says creating balance in 2019. It does come with a spiral um, coil here. It's in the black one. If you've had an Eric Condren black spiral, that's exactly how it feels as well. It's pretty cute. Let me see. It comes with these stickers right here. Let me get, Let me zoom you guys in. So it has um, January, February, March, April, all the months, and then notes and budget, menu, and goals. And they're all upside down, so I guess. So you can flip them, which is pretty cute. But yeah, these are it right here. Hopefully my camera will focus. There it is. Let me zoom you guys in a bit more so you guys can see the planner far out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. So if you open up the first page, you get a, like a welcome page. So this is dedicated to all my friends. This is her logo, Sincerely Angel. This is her shop, her website. So it's www.sincerelyangel.com. And this shows um, her why she created this, which is really nice and cute. This right here is a page to set your goals. So every time you want to reach a goal, you put the steps to reach it in the big picture and it goes throughout the entire thing. Next off, we have meal planning um, of what you love to eat. So she has a Monday through Saturday and Sunday, which is cut in half. And then she has a section if you like have soup or something like that. It, does, it doesn't matter what you put here. This is like what you wanna put that you've had the entire time that you love to eat, which is kind of cute because I have like my few ones. Like I have, um, I have like lasagna, I have like taquitos, I have um, chicken tostadas, um, chicken salad. So those would be like my favorite meals right here. Next page is just something that you can set as your morning routine. Here uh, she has um, from 5 a.m. to 2, which is pretty nice because my morning, all of this consists of sleeping. I get up at 10, and then this is the time I get ready to go to work or just in general to eat and do small errands. And then at 1, I'm on the road to work, and at 2, I start my job. And then you have a morning, and then you have a uh, evening routine. <clears throat> So this one, it tells you like things that you can do, whether it's to plan your morning routine or things that you want to remember within these hours before you go to work or when you go to sleep. Next, we have what you call the monthly layout. 
so this is it's a dated calendar for 2019 so just keep that in mind that when you get this planner and we are in February, you will have a whole month of January that's already been dated and you can maybe back plan or backtrack everything that you did within that month. But it is already dated, so everything's already set for that month. But here you have your um, Sunday through Saturday layout and it's already dated for you. It does include the holidays and I believe these are US holidays. So just in case you're international, some of these holidays won't apply to you. And then right here, it tells you to put down your um, your habits that you want to start tracking, like spending, tra uh, spending, like no spending or like running or cleaning. Those kind of habits you can go ahead in here. And she also has like paragraphs on each um, paper that tells you, you know her thought process behind it. And then she does have a little quote in the bottom. And I just love the graphics of this. It's cute, it's simple, but still like on trend with what we see today. Now, this is what attracted me the most to this planner. If you haven't seen Amanda's favorite videos, I'll link it somewhere around here or here. But she was the one who, um, brought this to my attention like she put it on her um, Instagram and I immediately saw the layout now I am a planner but I have to step back a little bit because of anxiety too much for an Andrew an Erin Condren planner has too much space to me it drives me insane because I feel like I have to fill those boxes in this one attracted my attention because they're small so for my average day life where I just gotta put like I have to work overtime or have you know minor things to do here and here this seemed beautiful for me as you can tell I'm using the Erin Condren deluxe um, calendar pad which has been working out but it's kind of too small for my stickers so this seems to be perfect I'm gonna try out planning on this one in an upcoming video that I will do on Sunday to lay out my birthday week which I will use a Etsy sticker kit and we'll test how this beautifully lays out but it has your Monday to Sunday layout. This one is a little different than an Erin Condren because Erin Condren, I believe, has your Sunday to Saturday. No, it actually has both of your weekends right here, but she breaks down your Saturdays right here. But it's fine. So you have your Monday through Saturday and your Sunday broken down here. And then she also has a small glimpse down here of what you're going to meal plan or like what you're going to have for dinner right here. Also a small to-do list like just in case like you miss something up here that you've planned or it doesn't fit you can add it in like these might be like your priorities or something that just came up which is great. And then right here she has a little quote box for you like something like a, a thankful thought or you know something that you remembered or like if you do memory keeping you can put your picture right here and just paste it there which is pretty cool but like I said this is from January and each page is the same it has all the days of the month in here and then once you hit your January she does change colors into your next month which is February now we are on February the six I believe right now at the moment so this right here I'm not gonna use I can use it if I want to backtrack or just in case I want to try out stickers to lay out for you guys I can do that which is also great but she also has a transfer of January through February right here same thing and it turns pink and then we go right back into the monthly layout so right here you go ahead you can put you know the bills that are due if you want or any special events like my birthday would be right there my mom's birthday would be here my niece's birthday would be there those kind of things that you want to remember or like you have like like me I had a big meeting with my boss on what, what on the fifth as well I could schedule that in and then I can also start tracking my daily habits which is great and then the color is I love how it's like one solid color with here and there details because too much color kind of freaks me out but here it's just beautiful she had hearts on the february one and then again your monday through friday in full boxes and then saturday and sunday in quarter kind of boxes your sunday is smaller than your saturday but i'm guessing is you know sunday you know it's more like a chill with a family kind of day in my opinion so that one is always on the back burner in my planners essentially but the same thing and I'm just gonna go ahead and flip through them and go through the colors so as you see here March turns into green 
and this is so cute like these are little leaves it's plain and white and again she has um, paragraphs and nice quotes to um, tell you about each month or essentially what can happen so let's move it along oh my god I love these colors so April a nice um, yellow so pretty oh my god I'm like in love now the paper is pretty thick this feels like thick paper um, I don't have a pen right now or to tell you what kind of paper this is but it's pretty thick Anywho, so I went to her Etsy shop. This is her shop right here. It is My Sincere, uh, Sincerely Angel. And the book is, the planner is 2019 Creating a Balanced Life Planner. She does have pictures of how it looks just in case you're more interested. And then it's $32. And then if I go down to the description, it tells me that this is 200 pages of planning on a 6 by 7 point 75 um, inch book planner so that's great it doesn't tell me how thick like the GSM of the pages are but I can tell you it's great quality if you have an Erin Condren and you like the quality of the paper it feels like that if not even better for that so yeah so we have the yellow which is so beautiful then we go into like a mint for um, May and this one has like roses and you know this is like Mother's Day so this kind of screams out Mother's Day in my opinion and it has cute little flowers and like I said they're all dated but it is gridded if you guys have I can bring this up to you just a bit more the planner is gridded right here so in case you like to write straight and you want an outline of where you want to make sure nothing is crooked. These are gridded with like very, very, very lightly gridded um, dots, which is nice to have in my opinion. Because like that you will stray off from writing crooked and you can always align your stickers or whatever you want to put on here or your photos perfectly. Now we have June. June is more of, you know, like a spring theme. And then we keep going. Now, this is just to show you the planner. Everything seems to be the same layout. We got more flowers. It's getting brighter and brighter because, you know, this is the summertime. So this is like more of a, what do you say, like a brick red or like, it's like a brick and a pink, but it's, it's cute. And we keep going. I haven't had any issues with the coil. As you can see, everything's turning smoothly. Then we go into a light baby pink for August. And the layout is green right here. And then the same thing. Super cute. We go back to a yellow for September. But it's more of a toned down yellow, I believe. And she has spots of green for it. Then for October, it gets more like of a punk, not pumpkin, but like an orangey thing with browns, which is cute because it signifies fall and it reminds me of Thanksgiving, literally. This reminds me, you know, but it's not there yet. It's like, it's like Thanksgiving and Halloween in my opinion. And then we go to November, which is a pastel, like orangey, yellowish with green on there. This is super cute. I love her small like details on these parts of the planet. They're amazing. And this is like more of a grayish toned down yellow. I feel like as you go through like this goes through the seasons with you and it's really nice. And then for December we go back to green and this is so cute because it does have a what do you call these like mistletoes? Hopefully that's right. And as your decoration for your month layout. And then, of course, you have them right here as well. And that is the entire planner. And then it goes into, I believe this is January. It goes right back into January. And it gives you like this frosted um, blue minty. And then it concludes the gloves. And then on the back side, here we go. This is where it starts getting interesting. Right here, it tells you where you have traveled or where you want to go next so this is like a to me it's like a goal setting um visual board for me i've only traveled to what south america somewhere around this this part of the, of the continent but 
this is where you know you can pinpoint with stickers or just highlight with like dots that you know I've been here and be here but and in the future this is where I want to go and you can check them off as you go and it's really cute because you know you get to see you know you you get to like be creative and see where you want to see yourself in the future going to places and it's really cute next is books I like to read now if you're a very a strong book reader you can list out all the books you have read or want to read right here and then this is a note to myself so it just gives you a nice reminder if you're ever like feeling discouraged or anything says focus on the good make time for things you love go outside you know nature and the sun really do help the body and then love who you are today every day is a fresh start well, that's really nice and then be brave and courageous and stronger than you think and that's really nice and I love the colors it's so saturated it's amazing next we have a budget part so right here she has an income section this is the most exciting part about this planner be just being I am a budget planner I budget all the time and I like to see the different layouts that can or cannot work for me in this journey you always try to see what um, layouts work for you and when you find one you stick to it and trust me you'll love it so in the first one she has income so right here she gives you options for four incomes in case you get paid weekly or bi-weekly or bi-monthly now you can always put the date or the starting balance and then what you got paid on a date it just depends or you can have like eight incomes yours and your partners if that's the way you see it now here is your monthly expenses. This is what I call um, bills or you can just be like house expenses or what I would call my debt and it gives you this is for what it is, when it's due and then it will lay you out for every single month for the entire year. So you can always go ahead and check it off once you've done that. And it right here in a nice arrow says you have a spending plan. So now we go along to the next one and it says additional spending now this let me zoom you guys out just a bit this can be your spending tracker so let's say you know you're trying to track all your expenses for February I'm doing a no spend February so every time I do spend or swipe a card or pay cash for something that's not budgeted but it's I'm paying for it I will track it down here I can also track that hey on this day my bills got actually posted on my account I can go ahead and check those out so it'll tell you the date and you can put you know card cash or whatever the description is and the amount and you have plenty of space to keep writing now if you're a big writer like you write really big not sure if that would fit in this is more tiny and narrow so you can track a lot but if you're like a big writer like I might be you might take up two of those lines for every transaction it just depends on you but this is clean layout and it's really really beautiful all right, let's move it along. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. You have 13 pages of pure additional spending. So you can put these as your bills and then you can break these down into months if you like. You can say right here, I just need these many uh, these many amounts of boxes or lines columns for my spending for this month and this month I'm gonna use that much and you have more than enough to keep for going on and on and on and on if you like now when we get to the end of the additional spending pages you go to the gridded dot lines right here this can be used for bullet journaling journaling just in general or just extra space that you have that you want to write down notes any to-do list or like what I would do for this page I would write down my debt numbers I would go ahead and put this as my debt number update write all my debt and then continue to this page and so forth and so on for the many um, months left in the year and you get let me count them correctly you get about 40 pages of pure note noted grid pads right here so that is a lot you can do a lot you can do a lot of progress trackers let me zoom you guys out a bit more just in case you're not all in there 
a lot of progress trackers, a lot of note taking, a lot of um, extra debt planning, anything that you can think about, you can do it here. You can do a lot of monthly like recaps or just journaling in here and that's fantastic. So next and not least, you get the 2019 calendar all the way in the back. So you do have your January through December 2019 calendar. Right here, you can highlight whatever you want for your events, for your birthdays, for your paychecks, anything. You can do that here. And it is the back of the back cover. So in the back, you get the uh, white and green um, stripe cover with her um, website down below so it's www.sincerelyangel.com now this is very compact it's very nice to keep on hand this would fit in your purse it would you would just have to be careful about if you're going to be adding stickers it can get chunky so just be wary of that the front cover is like a thick plastic laminate I'm not sure how but it does have some flexibility to it it is not as strong as an Erin Condren, so be mindful this might be able to fold if you do travel with it, so just be wary of that. But other than that, this planner feels luxurious and full of amazing things just by holding it and looking at it. And honestly, the paper quality is like ugh, amazing. One last thing before I go. Um... Angel did uh, offer uh, my subbies a discount code of 10% off. If you use Erica10, I'll put it right here for you. Go ahead to her shop, um, add it to your cart, and put the promo code or the discount code of Erica10. It'll give you 10% off the planner. The planner is $32, and with the 10% um, discount, it comes down to $28.80. So go ahead and check that out. If you like, let me know if you get it, if you like it, and let me know your thoughts. And I can't wait to show how this puppy works in my next video. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you, Angel, for allowing me to review your planner. It's gorgeous. And just in case anyone was wondering, these tabs go on the side to, to find your pages right here. I did try it on right here you put it on right there and just on the side so you can find them just be mindful that it will go into your layout if you like you these are strictly optional if you like if you like tabs but yeah these are planner tabs i had to figure that out for a minute but yes hope you guys like the review and i see you in my next video bye you guys oh.